President Biden's sinking approval rating is threatening to pull down the poll numbers of Democratic candidates heading into Tuesday's elections. Virginia's off-year gubernatorial elections have often been a pretty good barometer for the upcoming midterms. And right now, the Democratic candidate, former Governor Terry McAuliffe, has seen his large lead dissolve into a toss-up territory. And Governor McAuliffe joins me now. Uh, Governor, welcome back to Meet the Press. Chuck, great to be back with you. Uh, and I do want to make a note that we also asked Governor McAuliffe's Republican opponent, Glenn Youngkin, to appear. His campaign declined that invitation. Governor, I want to start with uh, an excerpt from this debate that I was moderating at that had one line clipped out. You have said it's out yep. of context. I want to play the exchange more fully and ask you about it on the other side. Here it is. Parents had to write to veto bills, veto books, Glenn, not to be knowledge about it, also take them off the shelves. And I'm not going to let parents come into schools and actually you take books out and make their own decisions. You vetoed it. So, Through yeah, I stopped the bill that I don't think parents should be telling schools what they should teach. So, Governor, what about that that you feel as if you were taken out of context? Do you feel as if everything you said there should reassure parents that they have some say in their kids' schooling? Listen, that was about a bill I vetoed, which people were very happy that I vetoed the bill, that literally parents could take books out of the curriculum. You know, I love Billy and Jack McCall of my parents, but they should not have been picking my math or science book. We have experts who actually do that. And look what happened. He is closing his campaign on banning books. It's created a controversy all over the country. He wants to ban Toni Morrison's book, Beloved. So he's going after one of the most preeminent African-American female writers in American history, won the Nobel Prize as Presidential Medal of Freedom, and he wants her books banned. Now, of all the hundreds of books you could look at, why did you take the one black female author? Why did you do it? He's ending his campaign on a racist dog whistle, just like he started the campaign when he talks about election integrity. But Chuck, we have a great school system in Virginia. Dorothy yeah. and I have raised our five children. Of course, parents are involved in it. The question should be, could an extreme Republican bill that would allow parents to take books off of shelves, should that be left in the hands of the parents or should it be left to the school boards and others who do this every single day and focus on it? They would argue that and bill is not saying As you saw in the crowd, about, everybody they, clapped when right, I said it. I understand that, but they would say this is not about banning a book. This is about informing parents that a book may have some material that uh, not all parents will be crazy about. We should let you know that your kid is going to be dealing with this material. Is that out of bounds? That's not out of bounds, but if you look at what the bill would be, they ultimately would have led to books being removed from our classrooms. And mm -hmm. this is, they say, we're the fourth best school education system in the country, our K-12 system. We're great. You look at my plan, I'm going to raise teacher pay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a, a children pre-K yeah. education, those at risk three and four-year-olds. I'm going to get everybody access to Broadway. What's Glenn Youngkin's education plan? He wants to ban critical race theory. Well, let me explain to you. It's never been taught in Virginia. Yeah. Number two, he says he wants to, day one, all masks come off and no teachers get vaccinated. Well, that's life-threatening. We have 1,142 children who've been in a hospital here in Virginia. Two 11-year-olds just died the other day from COVID. He doesn't have an education plan. He's got a Donald Trump, Betsy DeVos, take money out of public schools, put them into private schools. That doesn't work in Virginia. And that's why parents supported me when I vetoed that bill. Yeah. And I am the one who has the plan to move our education system forward. You know, if you look at the uh, Washington Post Shar School poll, uh, on the issue of education, sure. it looks like they have successfully redefined it and have made it the top issue concern among a list of uh, of issues. It's now tops the economy in COVID. Uh, two months ago, that was not the case. Is this a case where they've successfully created an issue in this campaign and you're having to uh, struggle to react to it? Well, as you see, I'm still leading in education because people know I put a record investment last time. I got rid of five SOLs. I redesigned our high schools. People trust me on education. But it's at the forefront here in Virginia, as it now is in others. You see what's happening in Georgia and Florida, because they're talking about this critical race theory. And as I said before, and I'll say it again, it's never been taught in Virginia. And it, I really hate it because it's a racist dog whistle. And all Glenn Youngkin has done in this campaign is run down Virginia, run down our education system, run down our economy. And when you think of this right now on critical race theory, Chuck, it's not taught. So all you're doing is pitting parents against parents, 
parents against teachers, and they're using children as political pawns. I was in Hampton yeah. last night. I met a school board member, said our school boards were fine. The, as soon as Glenn Youngkin got nominated, all of a sudden these people started showing up, creating such a ruckus, calling such obscene things. This was an yeah. African-American woman. I can't repeat on air what they said about her. This was last night up here in Northern Virginia. We just lost. Listen to this. We just lost a school board member because people are coming into these school boards. She said I was getting death threats, but when they said they were going to rape my children, I can't take it anymore. That's what Glenn Youngkin has done here in Virginia. He's created hatred and division just like Donald Trump, Um, and that's why Donald Trump, his final campaign is going to be for Glenn Youngkin here in Virginia. We don't want Trump. We don't want Youngkin. We don't want the hatred and division. Governor, on Friday night, you were talking up paid family leave, and lowering the cost of prescription drugs. These are two issues that are not even in you bet. this, de- uh, this uh, the bigger social spending agenda yeah. that the president just uh, is trying to get Congress to support. I- I- I'm just curious, yeah. what has this debate done to your campaign? Has it been uh, a bit debilitating? People are not, when I travel around Virginia, they're not asking me about what's going on in Washington. Obviously, everybody would like to see these bills pass. I'd love it as governor to get the $7 billion in roads that we would have here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. But what I get asked about every day, Chuck, is COVID, and I'm running against an anti-vaxxer. As you know, Glenn Youngkin has said, if you don't want to take it, don't take it. I believe teachers, doctors, nurses, everybody ought to be vaccinated. So COVID is on their mind. The economy is on their mind. As you know, I took over in a crisis before, got us out of it, created 200,000 new jobs. Personal income went up 14 percent. Unemployment dropped in every city and county when I was governor. I got to do that again because COVID has been so tough. Education, I talk about it every day. We got to raise teacher pay above the national average. I love our teachers. Glenn Youngkin continually runs down our teachers. Let me tell every teacher, All right. we love you, we thank you, and you have been real heroes during this COVID crisis. And I'm just tired of them running everything down. I'm trying to lift everybody up, and that's all why right. so many Republicans have endorsed me. Bill Crystal, goodness I, sake, endorsed me. I, all I right. bring, I'm a unifier. He's a divider. Terry McAuliffe, the right. Democratic nominee and former governor of Virginia. Stay safe on the trail, and we'll see you on Tuesday Go night. vote. All right. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.